Hi, I'm Curtis with the Fun Time Guide, and this morning I'm going to talk to you a little bit about things you need to do immediately upon taking ownership of a secondhand or used RV. One of the first things to take in mind or to take into consideration is that when a dealer takes in a RV as a trade-in, as far as preparing it for sale, they do absolutely nothing. They put it on the lot as they receive it, basically with a for sale sign in the window, and take it from there. That means that when you look at an RV on the lot, it has had no repairs done to it, it has had no, no servicing done to it, it is as the person who traded it in dropped it off. That can be uh, an indication that the RV is not in ready-to-go condition. If you are buying a towable RV, one of your primary first concerns should be the running gear underneath it. When was the last time the wheel bearings were repacked? How old are the tires? How solid is the foundation that you are pulling your trailer on? If you have I've uh, purchased a trailer whose tires are more than a couple years old. They should likely be replaced, especially if they are uh, foreign made and not uh, brand name American tires. Very few tires on the market today are of quality enough to uh, be reliable beyond maybe the first year or two. When you pick up your used RV, understand that you may not fully comprehend how everything works. You need to know that in the purchase of a secondhand RV, the dealer will only repair what is on the sales order. If you take it home and a month later discover that the refrigerator does not cool properly or there are other mechanical issues with the RV, you do not get a warranty of any sort and it will be your problem at that point so immediately upon getting your RV home it is a good practice to go through every operation and make sure that all the mechanical items within the RV function properly and uh, I don't mean mediocre make sure that the refrigerator cools down to a good uh, level and that the freezer portion actually freezes food you should also sanitize the water system completely. You have no way of knowing how old any water is that is in the tank or when the last time it was sanitized. So for your own safety and, and, uh, and reassurance, you should do a complete water system sanitation. You should also inspect all rubber seals, rubber gaskets, and window frameworks looking for a bead of silicone around the edge of the frame to assure that no water can get in. If there is no uh, uh, silicone caulking around the top half of the window, it would be a good plan to put a light bead around to seal the window. Over time, the uh, sealant on the factory sealant will harden and likely leaks will occur. It is also a good practice to get up on the roof and very closely inspect all seams for cracked sealant or any indication of where water might get in or if there is damage to any of the roof vent coverings. Understand that I have worked for a number of RV dealers and I have run across this at every single dealer they will do the least they have to to get the RV, especially secondhand ones, down the road and out of their hands. Do not count on them to uh, do any, pre, pre, any before sale uh, inspections or maintenance on them. If it is not on the sales slip, they're not gonna do, any, do anything about any problems that you find later down the road. Another word of caution 
concerns the title of your new secondhand RV. If you are buying from a dealer that does not have an extremely well-established reputation for being reliable, be sure to follow up on uh, any existing loan payoffs if you had a trade-in because this has happened to me. I traded in an RV to a dealer and he did not pay off my existing loan and 60 days down the road I get a notice from the bank that uh, payments have not been made and I had to handle the situation in person with the dealer and get it sorted out immediately because my credit rating was in danger of taking a severe hit for lack of payment. So be sure to follow up on titles and insurance and verify that everything is as it should be within a reasonable amount of time. Buying a secondhand RV puts a lot of the responsibility right into your lap because the dealer does not feel that they are liable or responsible for things that are not quite right. This isn't the world of auto sales where you have a much more established system that protects the consumer. The world of RVs is much more uh, of a situation where the condition of your RV as far as a secondhand purchase is totally as is, where is, and when you roll off the lot, any problems that come up are your situation and not the dealer's. I hope this gives you some idea of what to expect the next time you buy a secondhand RV because if you buy it from a private person that is definitely an as is where is situation and if you buy it from a dealer it's only modestly better than that. You're the responsibility to know what you are buying and what condition it is in is totally yours.